10 Second TV. Let's sit down with this week's guest, Nathan Hurd. Today on the show we have Nathan Hurd. Nathan is a black albino comedian and actor. Nathan, does it ever get old being introduced as a black albino? Yeah, getting introduced as a black albino all the time definitely gets old. For one, you wouldn't do that to anybody. You wouldn't do that to your motherfucker in a wheelchair. Hey, this is my friend Charles. He's in a wheelchair. Motherfucker, I can see that. Fuck you gonna pull that man card like that in public. It's fucked up. Second of all, it implies that the only thing I am is a black albino. Hey, man, this is Nathan. Uh, he's a black albino because he is uninteresting in every other facet. So let's talk about that, motherfucker. I'm interested, damn it. <laughs> well, I promise you wouldn't be here if I didn't think you were interesting. So what, what got you started in comedy? What led you to comedy? What put me on the path to do comedy, acting, whatever you want to call it, really was you know, like when I was six, I saw Steve Martin in The Jerk. From that moment, I was like, I want to do that. I want to be an actor. Um, and the comedy aspect of it was, for, he was a comedian, but like then it was like Richard Pryor, Eddie Murphy, Robin Williams, Martin Lawrence. Those are my biggest influences comedy-wise. And that was just because making people laugh would help me to not get my ass kicked. You see what I'm saying? Like, I got my ass kicked a lot for, just, for all this shit. And uh, if I could make you laugh, you wouldn't put 100% in the boot stomp in my face. You said you'd only put like 63% into, into the boot stomp. I could take a clean 63. 63 ain't shit to me. It's that 89 and up area is where I really get uh, fractured bones and tibias and shit. So that's really, really all that is. Um, and man, I love it, man. Who the fuck don't want to make people laugh, man? Come on. Who don't want to make people laugh? Pieces of shit. That's who don't want to make people laugh. Pieces of real shit. Just... Not like like pieces, not not shit logs. I'm talking about like pieces, like Hershey shit pieces, like them popcorn shits. Them pieces of shit don't want to make people laugh. I've gotten off topic and I apologize. So what's it like being a black albino in the entertainment industry? Being a black albino in the entertainment industry can be difficult, but you know, so can fucking life. You know what I'm saying? Like everybody's got their fucking problems. I got to deal with the fact that nobody's looking for a fucking albino. I don't get auditions. I don't really get parts. And when I do, it's because I'm albino and they don't really want me to speak. They just want me to stand there and be albino, which is, you know, it's whatever. But uh, I, I try not to look at it as a, as, a pop, as a negative. I just look at it like, well, that just means I got to be doper than everybody. You know what I mean? Like, so instead of trying to make people come down to my level, I'm going to just raise myself up to theirs. And I realized that sounded like an after-school special, but that's what you got to do in these streets sometimes, man. It's all out here in these streets, nigga. <laughs> I think that's a great mindset. I think that's a good way to handle it. So, uh, you travel a lot? Uh, I travel uh, a lot. I don't, I don't know if it's a lot, but I travel a fair amount. You know what I mean? Last year, I hit, I think, 10 different states. Um, I'm going to try and double that shit this year. Um, yeah, people are different everywhere. You know what I mean? People are uh, always, uh, pe but people like to laugh no matter where you at. You know what I mean? Like, so I I've never like, I've met some fucked up people, but the fucked up people are everywhere. There's different crowds just in LA. You can go to two different venues and the crowds are completely different. So whether it's fucking a silver mining town in the middle of Nevada or fucking the underground in Seattle, crowds is crowds, man. I'm gonna make all these motherfuckers laugh regardless who's watching. Fuck the dumb shit. So what's your next big step? What uh, what you got going on in your career? And I don't know my next big step. I'm just out here trying to be as absolutely funny as I possibly can. You know what I mean? Steve Martin said in his book says, be undeniable. Be so good that they can't ignore you. And and that's the goal. Um, uh, TV, I would like to get some TV credits. Um, but ultimately, I want to get, you know, movie to movie credits, man. I'm writing my own shit right now. And uh, just trying to fucking get... Get a fan base, you know what I mean? Get motherfuckers to like this albino some bitch. Yeah, Ha ha! <laughs> Please like me. How can people find you? Uh, where where are you at online? On on Twitter at the herd, and Snapchat at the albino herd because somehow the herd was taken. I'm gonna find that motherfucker and beat his ass. Uh, Facebook Nathan Herd H U R D. You know what I'm saying? Um. Best way to get in touch with me, honestly, is Snapchat, because that's the thing that I fuck with the most. Um, I don't like Facebook. I think it's stupid, and it's all negative. That's why I like Snapchat. It might be negative, but it goes away. <laughs> so, yeah, man. That's how you can get a hold of me. I fucking put my uh, show dates and shit up on them bitches, and uh, you can come get at me, man. Get at me. 
Thank you so much for being on the show, Nathan. You're a great guest. It was fantastic talking to you. We're going to move on now and get on to our next segment. 10 second TV, watching on repeat, using up your mobile data, connect to we see, we be in these mean streets, sometimes it seems weak, making it look easy, 10 second TV, yeah.